Hello guys, today we're going to learn that how to configure IP addresses on the network interfaces of FortiGate firewall. So in order to do that one, we have taken this lab to demonstrate that how exactly we are going to configure the IP addresses. So this is a server which is already configured of IP address of 162.16.1.1. This is a machine we can say the computer which is already configured of this mentioned IP address and our focus will be to configure this part basically which is related to the 48 firewall. So in this one I will configure this interface from the CLI so you can just come to know that how to configure IP address via CLI. This port I am going to configure via GUI so you can get to know that how to do it but this will be in a static and IP address manual IP address of this one and this interface I am going to configure via GUI but this will be from the DHCP so automatically IP address will be assigned via DHCP. So just to tell you that currently we don't have access of GUI of this firewall through this machine. So I'm going to configure this IP address via CLI and allow access to HTTPS in order to access this via this machine. All right. So just let's do it instantly. So let me just delete it first. And uh, Oh, sorry. So this is my machine. Oh, then I don't have to go to machine. I will go to this CLI of this firewall. All right. So from this one, I will just uh, go to config system interfaces interface. And uh, I'm going to do edit port one because that port one is uh, connected to our machine, right? So let me show you once again, edit port one. So that's port one I'm going to configure via CLI. Command is set system, oh sorry, set IP only, set IP and 10.1.1.10. Subnet mask I don't have to give, I have to give only slash 24. That's it. And one more thing, I uh, if you are doing the first time, you have to put, uh, configure the mode as a static because by default we can say the dynamic, right? So we have to do it like set mode static. So you may have to do that one. I have already done it, so that's why there's no problem with that one. Next one is the command we give it set allow access HTTP HTTPS. ping so that I can ping that as well. All right. So that is okay. And we can give one more that is SSH. These four should be fine. And once we do end, all the configurations are automatically saved. We don't have to uh, do anything save or commit changes, something like that one, right? So now I will be able to access this firewall via GUI. So I'm going to con uh, get it via GUI. Let's do it. And IP address, I have given it 10.1.1.10. It's already there. Let me hit it, enter. Password I have for, for admin, admin123. Hit enter. So the dashboard shows like this one, you see. Uh, the host name is 48 VM64. It was giving a message to change it. I'm not going to change it. Our focus is to configure the network interfaces, right? So I will go to network. No, oh, sorry, not in the network. This network, <laughs> there are two networks. So this network and here we are having the option of the interfaces. So whatever the interface we have just configured 10.1.1.10 that is already here, you see. 10.1.10 is already configured. Our focus is to configure port 2. So I'm going to select port 2 and just hit edit here. <coughs> Alias, you can go give us as DMZ. So because that uh, we are considering that that is a DMZ server. 
IP address time I'm going to put is manual not the DHCP all right and the IP address net and mask so I'm going to give IP address as 172.16.1.10 and the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 perfect what uh, connections you uh, you want to allow https ping fmg access whatever you want to allow you can click it here if you don't want to allow just leave it as it is no problem that is based on your requirement that what are the things you want to allow so that only on these uh, port number uh, these uh, protocols we can say it will be communicated over our interfaces so i'm going to put it to okay as of now right so on the port one you see that these are admin access are allowed here there's nothing allowed one more thing i forgot to tell you uh, let me tell you once again uh, not on the port i was configured just configured port number two right so i will just go to port number two once again from here you can just uh, enable or disable these ports sometimes by default they are enabled you don't have to do anything but you have to make sure that if anybody has not disabled or something like that one you can mention the comments as well that on which side it is going to that one or something like that one like this is going to this ip address or name of any of the server that where it is connected to so as of now i'm going to allow ping access here okay let me put it okay here so now you see that ping is allowed here uh, now let's see that how to configure the DHCP IP address right so this IP interface I have already configured it via DHCP let me edit it and show you once again all right so just select it click here and add it so let's see that uh, what are options here we are having that one option manual and DHCP the name and all you are you can give it like alias you can give you can give it like as a internet or anything right that what is the name you want to give it to the interface it is similar as we used to do for the routers interfaces right and let me for example i can want to put it manual here so let me put it some ip address 0.0.0.0 space or slash 0.0.0.0 as it was earlier right so put it okay here so now you can see that it is port 3 is our 000 it's like new interface as we are having the port number 4 right nothing over there the name of thing already a given right for the port 3 but still that does not matter now let me just uh, assign it to the dhcp once again so i think it is quite simple you have already got it but still uh, let me just uh, tell you right so for the dhcp and uh, we want to allow all the access so though you don't have to select anything just hit okay port is already enabled click ok as you click ok you see that uh, ip address we haven't got it right for the port 3 but it's still if you just uh, click it once again because it takes some time to get that uh, dynamic ip address now if you click it once again for the edit you see that it has already got it you see that ip address automatically it has got it so that's how we configure the uh, network uh, interfaces and uh, that's it for this session uh, in the next session i will configure the security policies via the we can say the firewall policy meanwhile keep practicing bye bye see you soon